Hey guys, Kitty here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are having a look at the Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. If you know anything about me, you know that I'm already a big, big, big fan of Juvia's Place palettes and their eyeshadow formulas. But I finally got my hands on this one. This one's been out for a little while, but um, I just hadn't got my hands on it. Um, the shipping is a little bit expensive, so I kind of wanted to buy a few things at once rather than just buy the one palette. But um, I used this palette uh, if you are a fan of Nikki Tutorials, like I am, like she's my freaking idol, um, you will recognize this. So I copied a wee bit. It didn't mean to come out this way. It just started with the purple and things, and then I thought, well, you know what? Let's just try that negative space. Let's just try it, because I'm terrified of it, but let's just try it anyway. So I um, created a look that is very similar to the look that she created out of the Huda Beauty um, Desert Storm Desert Dust palette. I can't even remember the name of that palette. But um, I can't let you guys know whether it's an exact sort of really close joke. I will be getting that palette, so once I do, I will then let you guys know how I feel about the two palettes, whether they're really similar. But I'm just feeling this look is just really quite similar. So if you want to see how I feel about this palette and you want to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first shade that I'm going to work with is a shade called Kessie. And Kessie is just a really nice cream, uh, just a cream sort of matte shade. And I'm just going to pop this all over my lids and underneath my lower lash line as a base. Taking a bigger, fluffier brush, I'm now going to... I really want to put the shade Kogi. I think it's Kogi. I really want to put this shade in my crease. It's quite a sort of a coral pinky orange shade. It's absolutely beautiful if you ask me. I love it. So I'm just going to pop that in. I'm going to take a really, really small brush now. I'm going to take the shade Zakia and I'm just going to create a bit of depth in that sort of cut crease area that I want. Alright, I'm just going back over with that transition fluffy brush just to blend it out a little bit. So now taking another slightly fluffy brush, it's still fluffy, but not as fluffy as one that I just used in my crease. I'm now going to take the shade, now it's LFE, it looks like it's missing an eye to be life, but I don't know, Lif, Liffy, Lif, Life, Lif, Lif. Um, this shade is a seriously inky, amazing, almost indigo, inky, dark purple, it is just stunning in the pan. So I'm just going to work out really, really gentle with this. And I'm going to pop this on my last quarter. This is honestly such an amazing colour. Like, it's so pigmented. You're never going to get through these pans with eyeshadow. I don't think. I challenge somebody to actually even hit pan on one of these. Like, this, these things are massive. They look like a blush, like a blush sort of pan. They're so big. Just going over with that pink so we don't lose it. So now I'm just going to take my concealer, this is my Naked Skin Urban Decay Concealer, and I'm going to cut out that first, pretty much sort of half um, of my eyelid. I'm going with my smaller brush first actually, just to get the shape, and then I can go in with a bigger one quickly. Okay, and now jumping back into this gorgeous palette, I'm now going to take the shade Faso, <laughs> funny name, I'm going to take the shade Faso, and I'm going to wet this. Um, with my setting spray just because it's what I always do and it's just a really good way of getting the absolute best out of your eyeshadow um, eyeshadows so um, just wetting it down I'm gonna pop this all over that white area and I'm kind of just taking it dry as well now just to really take on that color so now cleaning my brush again I'm now going to just taking the same brush I'm now going to use something on my inner corner. I'm now going to pop, pop the shade. This one's called Yemoja. The funny thing is about all these Juvia's Place palettes is they've all got really like sort of African sort of names and just names like that we've definitely never heard of before. So they can be a little bit difficult to pronounce. All right, so I'm going to take this shade um, dry first, see how it performs. And I'm just popping this on the very inner of the eyelid just in that cut area just to blend into the purple just to give it a little bit of a graduation of color effect so now taking again that sort of fluffy brush in the shade lift lifey that really dark purple shade i'm now just going to beef up those outer corners again just because we lost a wee bit of that pigmentation when i was putting the concealer and things on but this day 
stage there is like next to no fallout at all. So it's probably because I'm using the smallest amount of product because it's so pigmented you do not need anything but small amounts. My god that's pretty. Let's put the shade Zakia which is the shade that I use. It's a really quite almost terracotta orange that I use to sort of deepen that sort of um, on that cut line. I'm gonna use this to create a wee bit of a line underneath my lower lashes. Now I take a smaller shade of brush and I'm gonna put the same shade underneath. I'm gonna just smoke it out a wee bit. I'm now gonna take the shade Nana and I'm just gonna use this underneath what I've just put on just to create a little bit more of a bit of an ombre effect. Okay, so now I'm just gonna pop on some liner and lashes and I will be back with my final verdict. Okay, so that is it, that is the completed look. I am in love with this look and I am so glad for the first time I did a negative space eye look. I have avoided them like the plague. I love them, I've always seen them and I've always like really wanted to try it but I've always been afraid of it, so. Um, you know, even I'm still like learning new things and even I'm still trying things that scare the shit out of me um, because that's the only way that you're ever going to grow. So I'm definitely going to be doing this negative space business again. It was actually really quite easy and it's really, really effective. The Magic Palette by Juvia's Place. So, <laughs> does this get the candy makeup stamp of approval? I think you guys would be daft if you think that it didn't. Uh, it definitely does. This Every single one of Juvia's Place palettes has had my stamp of approval because they are all so stunning. They are all so, so pigmented. They are all so easy to work with. They're so blendable. The metallics are so metallic. I just can't get enough of their eyeshadow formula. And even though their customer service is terrible, I've had a personal terrible experience with their customer service where they were just so unhelpful. Um, when it was their mistake, but do you know what? I love these palettes. I love this eyeshadow so much that I'm gonna keep buying it I don't even care and that just really says something I feel that you know if you're willing to put up with shitty customer service um, And not willing to poo-poo the brand just you know because of that bad customer service Normally that's enough to make you go mm, No, nah, I'm not even gonna go there, but these are just so good. I know that the shipping can be really expensive to New Zealand um, I've just gone hard with a friend to get her to get some in for her um, because the shipping costs were just a little bit out of her you know her price league and to be honest they're out of my price league too I just pay it anyway because I don't know how good these are and I really really want it so that is it I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you with your purchasing decisions if it did let me know down below if you have this palette and you love it just as much as I do let me know down below as well don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on anything because you don't want to miss out on anything and you'll be seeing my face in the next one.